Charging problems is a common situation for many smartphones. In this video, you'll learn what to do if faced with charging problems on a Galaxy S10 after installing new Android update. What you want to do now is to check the adapter and USB for visible signs of physical damage. First, check the charging port. If you've confirmed that there's no issue coming from your charging accessories, the next step would be to ensure that the charging port is not blocked. Sometimes dirt or lint may get inside the port and prevent the USB cable from connecting properly. If it feels loose when you insert the USB cable to the port, there may be something that's blocking it. Next, refresh system by force reboot. All Samsung devices with power issues can benefit from a restart. Some minor bugs developer for devices left running for a long time. It is recommended that you restart your phone once at least every few days. Restarting your Galaxy S10 is easy. Here's what you need to do. Press and hold the volume down button and the power key at the same time for 10 seconds or until the device's screen turns up. Rebooting your device regularly at least once every week can be beneficial. Next, refresh system cache. If you have charging problems before installing latest Android update, you may have a possible issue with your Galaxy S10 system cache. To check, try clearing the cache partition where this cache is stored. Here's how to do that. First, turn off the device. Then, press and hold the volume up key and the Bixby key, then press and hold the power key. When the green Android logo displays, release all keys. Press the volume down key several times to highlight white cache partition. Press power button to select. Press the volume down key until yes is highlighted and press the power button. When the white cache partition is complete, reboot system now is highlighted. Press the power key to restart the device. Next, Reset Device App Preferences. This solution option is similar to Factory Reset minus the hassles of deleting user data, apps, and more. If Auto Rotate is still present at this juncture, then you should do this solution to see if you can fix the software bug this way. To reset all settings on a S10, open Settings App, tap General Management, tap Reset, tap Reset All Settings. Tap Reset button. Next, keep apps up to date. Updating apps not only bring new versions but also possible fixes for known bugs and incompatibility issues especially since the Android operating system is new it is therefore necessary that you manually check for app updates at this stage. Charging problems may be caused by a bad or broken app try to lessen the chances of this situation from happening by keeping them updated. Next, restart on safe mode and charge. If your Galaxy S10 continues to have charging problems after an Android 10 update, the other possible reason that you want to check is presence of bad third-party app. Not all apps are built with the same skill and resources so some may suddenly start acting up if the developer did not prepare it for a new Android version. To check if there's a bad third-party app in your device you must run your S10 to safe mode. In this mode all third-party apps are blocked, grayed out so they can't run. If notifications work normally on safe mode that means that you have a bad app at hand. Next, check for moisture detected error. If you recently exposed your Galaxy S10 to water, it's possible that there may be moisture inside this can prevent the device from charging. Normally your device should show a moisture detected warning in such situation. Not getting one though does not mean the charging port is 100% free of moisture. If you suspect that the charging port may be wet, consider drying the phone. Next, return software to defaults. So far the only effective way to fix post Android 10 update issues that we know so far is factory reset. So if none of our suggestions above has helped and your S10 still won't charge at all you must consider this solution. Since the most likely reason for notification problems are software in nature, factory reset will highly likely be of help.
If your case is that the phone is not booting up or it boots but settings menu is inaccessible this method can be helpful. First you need to boot the device to recovery mode. Once you successfully access recovery, that's the time that you begin proper master reset procedure. It may take some tries for you before you can access recovery so be patient and simply try again. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.